Modern Dad series as we count down to Father's Day this coming Sunday. This morning, a notable shift in families all across America. In our own Modern Dad survey, 51% of dads said that they would quit working and stay at home with the children if they could afford it. 78% of dads who do stay at home say society underestimates them. So what exactly does today's new stay-at-home dad look like? NBC's Craig Melvin has more on that. Craig, good morning. Matt, good morning to you. There's no doubt that traditional gender roles are rapidly changing. And now more fathers than ever are choosing to stay at home with the children while their spouse or partner goes off to work. Adventures in Paternity. Can I get the peanut butter out of your hair? Hey, those are mine. With four different dads. I'm Mike. I'm Pat. I'm Frank. I'm Chris. A total of seven young kids. <laughs> mm, we're ready to take on the world. And one common denominator. I'm, I'm a stay-at-home dad. dad. Really, a modern dad has to be able to do it all. All roles. It's a juggling act. Woohoo! Mike used to be in the hotel food and beverage industry. Frank in luxury sales. Chris was a teacher, and Pat was in restaurant management. All four guys were part of a dual income couple, but then came the baby and the choice to let their better half be the sole breadwinner so they could be at home full time. You find ways as a stay at home parent to make up for that lost income. Oh, bright light, bright light. An early call kicks off a jam packed schedule. Our typical uh, morning, it's a bit of a mad scramble. We're going to the park right now. A day in the life of these dads is full of highs, lows, and just about everything in between. I'm constantly driving them around somewhere. I made your lunch early just in case. I had no clue as to how busy I would be or how much time it would consume, and it is insane. Every single day he's learning new stuff. What's a monster say? <laughs> wow. After lunch, I take Sarah to school. One of our favorite things is playdates with my friend Lisa and her daughter, Eliana. There are an estimated 2 million stay-at-home dads in the U.S. And as those numbers grow, so do the dad meetup groups now popping up all around the country. No, not my finger. The online community is changing the game for these fathers who exchange tips and advice. Yeah. yeah. They blog, tweet, and chronicle the wild twists and turns. Dads are mobilizing these days. Uh, they're truly finding their people. According to new research, an overwhelming majority of dads, 94% prioritize their families over their careers, and nearly one in four consider themselves the primary caregiver. It's such a positive thing to see dads kind of embracing this role. <laughs> you know, there's new Dove Men Plus Care research that states that 74% of men are organizing their lives around their families so they can spend more quality time with their kids. Despite the growing numbers, challenges with perception still persist. I've been asked, where is your wife? Where is his mommy? Things like that. And I am very quick to say, I don't have a wife and he does not have a mommy and this is what I do. I'm a stay at home dad. I run into the occasional Mr. Mom comments that are offensive. Sometimes you'll run into an elitist group of playground moms. Dads are not babysitters. We're parents, just like moms are. It shouldn't matter whether it's the mom raising or the dad raising, you know, we're all in this together. But for Chris, Mike, Frank, and Pat, they say the rewards of staying at home far outweigh the sacrifices any day Anytime. It makes me like super proud to be doing this. Having the, the time that I can to spend with my son is paramount. It's something I love. I, I you know, relish the opportunity to spend this time with my children that I wouldn't necessarily have if I pursued my career. I'm really proud of my wife for being able to <laughs> give me this opportunity. You know, I can never take it back. Can I have a hug? Thank you. Two million, two million stay-at-home dads today, Matt Lauer. That's roughly double the number uh, that we saw in 1989. And as Father's Day approaches, we take our hats off to them. And I take my hat off to you with a 13-week-old. Yes. Happy Father's Day Thank to you. Thank you very much, and happy Father's Day to you as well. Three times over. That's right. Thanks very much. Coming up is a supersized restoration hardware catalog. Third.
3,000 pages, 17 pounds. Is it simply too big? We'll talk about that. But up next, Mr. Gerard Butler is live in Studio 1A. We'll catch up with him. This is today on NBC. Get a drum, stay swing low.